Okay, now after defining this stratigraphic pile and we have the geological map in there with the topography, now what we can do is to tell GeoMother where each one of these formations are actually located. To do that, we're going to use some of the tools in here. So let's go to create line tool, okay? And start digitizing what we see in here, okay? We are going to digitize this one really quickly. And we stop in here. So I want you guys to think what does this line actually represent? So this one, this is the uh, line and we go to here create geology data okay create geology data so like i said before we've chosen to digitize the bottom of the formation so this line is at the same time the top of this one but we've told we told that geomodeler that we are only going to digitize the bottom of the formations so this one is the bottom of the youngest formation so we pick up youngest in here so and then we choose you can choose whatever you want in here whether you've observed that in the terrain whether it is interpreted I use uh, I tend to use the model constructor okay also see this one in here you can uh, because we have just one single dip and dip direction we can use associated to it the orientation data we have a constant dip of 45 in that direction okay so and then we go and create okay as you can see that we have see that direction this we have a constant dip of 45 degrees to this uh, side now if we if we will right click and go flip order of points you can see that the uh, it means that it is dipping on this side if you get it for example in this side you all you have to do is just right click and go flip order of points and you get it on the other side so now it's working for us okay now let's continue with the youngest formation so we are going to digitize this one roughly okay until here and we are going to do the same thing this is the youngest we have an associated uh, dip and this time it is 50 and we click on create and we continue with the other one which is I want you guys to think about it right now while I'm doing it what is this what does this one represent okay so we finish that and we go to here if you guessed it right I hope it was the mid because this is the bottom of the mid it's not the top of this one so we have an associated associated data and which is 45 degrees 45 degrees and create OK now we go to this one and by the way you will only be able to represent something in 3d if you have at least one contact data and one orientation data okay I'll show you another way of creating the orientation data if you have different you know uh, dip and dip direction like for example the fault in here okay and we go to here and mid and we're done that's it for this video guys